What is up, y'all? Bosky checking in with y'all, man. I just wanted to come on here and um, I don't know, man. I've I've been wanting to do this for a long time um, to start a YouTube channel and to start making beats on YouTube and having them on here. But like, I've just never really did anything to like start and try out. So this is um, this is my first video. Um, comment and like down below all that stuff if you whatever I want to do like whatever y'all want to see man I'll show it I don't really care uh, I'm gonna read the book but um let's get to what what we came here for man and that's the beats um so I just got done working on this beat like 20 some minutes ago um this beat is like crazy to me personally if you don't know, man, if you don't follow me on any social media, whatever, and if you're new, um, I make beat like I, I try to make all my beats with the intention of, um, more the intention of like creating an atmosphere in more of a sense. Um, I like my beats to be crazy with the drums and like, but the but the melody is the more is the important to me. Like, it is the biggest thing to me is the melody if the melody is not is not where i want it to be or it's not how i like it i will not put it out i will delete it like that's how i am um but yeah man i'm about to show y'all the beat and then we can get straight to it all right we back all right here's the beat man for real y'all go man that's most of the beat um it it was a it was interesting to make man for real for real um the start like the very top melody was like this melody here like i was making that and i was just <laughs> i was just like i need this is amazing like it sounds great like to the ear it sounds like it sounds amazing something to compliment it and kind of like give it that like that different feel so I uh I put a pad underneath it so it can add like that atmosphere to it um I originally had the pad as it being the lead like as it being the head melody but then I found this beautiful Rhodes that was just crazy and that is the that is the lead that is like the top melody is, is the roads. Um, then for the second one, the third part, I added the um, the arp, the arpeggiator. Um, this adds like a whole nother level of, of just like groove to the beat. It's definitely a different rhythm that I love. Um, it's a great, great addition to, this, to the beat. Whenever you're trying to like make like a, a slow beat, kind of, you always want to have an arpeggiator or something like that's kind of like pushing the beat through. You know what I'm saying? Um, those are great. Um, and then for the th for like my fourth one, I have like five. I have like five melodies total in this beat because I I, I stack my melodies. 
because it adds more depth to it. And that's ultimately what you want to do with all your beats. You want to make sure that they're stacked up. They're not like too stacked, but you want to make sure that it's just like, it's always adding on top of So it's not sounding repetitive in any way. Um, so my fourth melody is uh, this kind of synth that is in the background. You can kind of hear it. To, whenever I'm making beats like this, I really, really love to make them like change and kind of like in the ways of like turn up, but like in a way you don't expect it to almost because you kind of think it's going to go, dun, dun, uh, dun, uh, uh, uh. but like it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? I like to make I like to make my slow beats actually turn up beats in a way so like they kind of like. I don't know, man. I can't really explain. It's not something that you can explain. It's just, it's like a movie, or like, or like a dream almost. It kind of, it gets, it has its slow starts, and then it goes crazy. It's like a roller coaster. It's settle here, up, and then it goes crazy, and then it's like all over the place. But it's organized. It's organized chaos. So, yeah. All right. So, melody got that out the way. Um, this. Um, Kind of like I, that's I, I like that melody because it's like that lead because it's in like all R and B stuff like it's I love it I love that that sound that synth that uh, side so uh, after that man it was pretty simple what I wanted to do then this time I just got to the drums and uh, the drums the drums were interesting man they were really interesting. I started out with uh, this the simple claps. I started out with the simple claps, and then um, I got busy after that, man. Cause I, I love I love making drums. I feel like drums, if your drums aren't hitting, the beat is, the beat is not gonna look good. It's not gonna sound good. I mean, um, I take a lot of pride in my drums. I make sure that my drums are exactly matching the mood of the beat, and if it's not matching the mood it's elevating the beat higher than what it should be. I take so much pride in my drums, bro. The drums is what gets the person knocking. That's what gets the crowd jumping. That's what gets the artist inspired. Like, that's it. the drums are very important. So, yeah, man, I started with, uh, so I started with the, just with the clap. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and my tempo's like 100, so like it's it's kind of, it's kind of slow, but I still got that slow groove there. Uh, um, easy snares. Since this beat is kind of faster than what I kind of made it faster than what it really is. So everything's hitting a little faster. So it's kind of like that that faster groove. And then um, open hats. It's in the back. It's, a little, it's that constant sound, you know what I'm saying? To get the person grooving. Now the hi-hats, man. The hi-hats are great. Like Hi-hats are very important because they, they're, they're that constant, that ticking groove. That this is always there. So you always make sure that they're grooving with the beat. You never want them to be too much or too little. You just want to have it just right. So these are the hi hats. Now, now, now. What I what is my favorite part of the beat? Um, the kick and the eight oh eight. Oh my gosh. Um, bro. If you if your kick and your 808s do not match the beat or the melody of the song and they don't help ride out the beat, I'm sorry, man, but the beat's just not hitting. 
it's, it's got to go, go back. To, you got to go back to the lab. You got to get some work. You got to get that fixed. Um, I love doing 808s and the kick, man. I feel like whenever I do 808s or kicks, they're always hitting. They're all like they're not always like crazy, but like they're always matching the tone of the beat. So here's the um, here's the 808. That O, that O feel to it. Here's the kick. like button comment subscribe man um i'm gonna be trying to i'm gonna be trying to upload i don't know i don't know yet we'll see we'll see how we'll see how this video do man if it gets i don't know 15 10 they likes conversations, i conversations. will upload another one and i'll show y'all how i, I no make patience. more of these they not conversations um, they not conversations this is jay boski just tell me the truth, baby. I'm out. I ain't got gang, no patience. Gang, gang. Late night conversations, late night conversations. Just tell me the truth, baby. Yeah, I ain't got no patience. Late night conversations, late night conversations. Late night convo. What?